Hey folks, this is Mary. Welcome back to my channel. This is day nine of 30 blue inks, 30 days. And today I'm breaking out some of my new Sailor Ink Studio inks. Um, there's, as you probably know, there is a huge collection in the Sailor Studio ink line. They have a hundred different inks and it's quite overwhelming, but I have purchased the three currently popular inks um, 143, 162, and 123. I believe that's one, yes. Um, so out of those three, the blue one, which would fall into my month of blue ink category, is 143. And this is the cute little bottle. They are quite tiny, but very pretty. And ooh, look at that ink sloshing around in there. I just love it. And this is what it looks like on the swatch card. Um, the ink itself is pretty light, but then where it pools, of course, it's much darker. And it does have some lovely purple undertones. And I want to make sure I talk about my pen today. Sometimes I forget to talk about the pen. Um, this is a Cross Calais. And I actually bought this at Tuesday morning, if you're familiar with that store. It's a discount store like TJ Maxx or Marshall's. And I think I only paid about $11 for it. And this is a very nice cross pen. It's a beautiful deep blue. Um, I just, I love this color. And it's it's similar to the color of my um, Platinum 3776 in uh, Chartres Blue. And it's gorgeous. And it's a medium nib. That was the only nib size that was available. It came in a package with some cartridges but um, I purchased a converter from my local pen shop to use with it. So it's a pretty wet writer. It's, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty broad medium. So I thought this would be good to use with this ink, which is known to be a great shader. So here it is in my journal. I've recorded today's ink. And you can see it's a very light blue. Um... And this paper, this is the Exceed notebook. I love these notebooks, but the one thing I don't like about them is the yellowish tinge to the paper. I really wish it was just plain white paper because then the ink colors would show up so much better. But um, I don't have any trouble with bleeding on this paper, but you can see that the ink is coming out very light. So let's move on to our writing sample on my Claire Fontaine paper. if you can hear my neighbor's dogs barking or not. Um, if you can, I do apologize. They enjoy barking. All right, so let's look at some of our sample cards here. Um, I did want to show you, um, these are my three Ink Studio inks that I have so far. Um, I have the 123, the 143, and the 162. And you can see that they have the different colors shading in them. I've heard people call that different things. Um, poly shading, multi shaders, multichromatic shaders. I don't know. What's, what's your favorite term to describe these inks? Um, they're, they're very interesting and very beautiful. So, but of course, these two are not falling into the blue category. So we'll save those for another time. And as far as the multi-shading inks, um, I have two of the Sailor Manu inks. I have Neko Yanagi and Haha. Ha. And again, it's that, that main color with the other shading in it. Um, both lovely, um, both quite light in a pen. But if you use a, a wet nib or a broad nib, a broad enough nib, they show that beautiful shading. And the other inks that I have that fall in that multi-shading category um, are these Troublemaker inks. And uh, Milky Ocean is right at the top of my list. I've said before that Monteverde Horizon Blue is my favorite. 
Milky Ocean is right up there fighting for number two. It's so beautiful. And it looks a little bit darker on these cards than the Sailor Ink Studio. Um, I've written quite a bit with Milky Ocean, and I just love it. I'm not really into pale inks or pastel colored inks, but this one is beautiful. So I'm interested to see how this one goes um, since it's a little bit lighter. But then the other Troublemaker ink, um, here you can see abalone. It's that light gray with the undertones of purple. And sea glass is a pale green with kind of brownish and red undertones. And I definitely plan to use sea glass at the end of my month of blues. Um, this is one of the Troublemaker inks that I have not used yet. I've, I've used Milky Ocean and I've used Abalone a little bit, but I definitely want to get sea glass in a pen so I can try it out. Now let's see if I have any other inks that might compare to this pale blue. Let's see. So this is a kind of a, a pastel sort of blue, maybe periwinkle. That's more of a more of a turquoise ink, much brighter. Let's see. Here's Aqua Lagoon. That's very green. And here's sky blue that we used the other day. Now I don't know if my eyes are playing tricks on me, but I wonder if I see some other some other colors in there. I think it must be my imagination. I've got these shading inks on the brain. And there is Califolio Bleu Mediterranean. And again, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but I'm, I'm seeing some other colors in there, some other shades. So that one looks pretty close to me. Hmm. So I think that one might be about the best match that I have. Um, so if you're interested, you should certainly give that one a try. Um, these Califolio inks are very gentle on pens. They're supposed to be good even for vintage pens, which is why I wanted to explore them, because I'm getting into vintage pens. And um, it's it's very affordable. The uh, The Ink Studio inks are a little pricey. I want to say they're, they're around $20, and I think this is 18 ounces. Does it say on the box how much it is? Ooh, it probably does, but I, oh, 20 milliliters. So 20 milliliters, and I want to say they're somewhere around $20. I don't remember, but um, if you're looking for a more affordably priced ink, that Califolio ink might be a good way for you to go. All right, so that was our ink for today, um, the Sailor Ink Studio. Um, let me know in the comments if you have tried any of the Sailor Ink Studio inks, and if you have, which one is your favorite. And I hope you're enjoying your pens and inks today, and hopefully I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.